Hello and welcome to the first video tutorial for Joomla 2.5. Uh, first thing we're going to do is show you how to edit the existing website content. So in this example for the Taxi One website we want to change uh, this number on the website and um, I'm going to change um, a few items of text at the same time and then I'm also going to change the University Open Days page and I'm going to update that with the new Open Days dates there we go with the new dates that are available so the first thing is from the website how do we log into the administration side well, it's quite straightforward you've got your website at the top usually if you just strip out everything apart from the main website and type administration or administrator as you can see there hit enter and that will automatically take you to the login page by default it's it's already filled in my username and password you'll know these your website administrator should have given you your username and passwords to get in let's log in and this will take you to the administration welcome page so the first thing we need to do to edit um, one of our pages or as Joomla calls them articles we need to go to our article manager okay and here we have a list of all the articles see what I've done for this website is I've created backups of all the pages so uh, there's duplicate pages so the FAQ is duplicated one is turned on one is turned off Oops. just close that so yeah the, one of the first things you see is the status uh, one is turned off and one is turn, uh, turned on so at any time if changes are made to the live one you can always just turn it off and turn on the original it's got original in brackets and you, can, you can always turn that on also yeah, you'll notice that whether, you've got, whether it's featured or not featured simply means it will appear as on the home page if you turn this little star on so you can see the home page is turned on as default the rest, the rest of the pages for this particular website we want to link to but sometimes people want two or three articles to feature on the home page okay so the home page is one of the ones we want to edit so if you just click the name on the left hand side you've noticed I've clicked the one that's currently live this is the home page you notice every article sits within a category uh, you can see status is published and the access is public Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to update the number of football fans that have taken this to 1400. And since we're in 2013, it's not last August. So we've just changed that since to the word since August 2011, since we're in 2013 uh, now. That's it really. Um, scroll back up to the top, hit save and close. Now to check if that is also actually updated, um, we'll just open another web page with Taxi One. And we should see that instantly that is updated to 14,000 football fans and it says since August 2011 so we're going to update the university days now go back to the administration site find university open days again I'm going to edit the one that's got the green icon we've simply got a list of new dates so I'm not sure if they're Saturdays or Sundays, so I'm just going to list the dates anyway. Twenty first and twenty second of June. Hello and welcome to Tipping Point. 
Let's get rid of that Windows message again. And the 28th of September. And the 12th of October. Okay, I think that's all the changes. Back up, hit save and close. As soon as it's saved and come back, we can go and check. Just by clicking our page, over, University Open Days, and we should see, yes, our dates have all changed. Brilliant. Okay, the next video is going to be how to create an article from scratch.